Heavenly Father, the ones that you love have come to say thank you. The ones you sent your son to die for have come to say thank you. We are thanking you on this last day of November 2022, acknowledging, oh God, that if it had not been for the Lord on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up quickly. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, when the devil and his agents came against us, we would have been consumed. But bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord and do not forget his benefits. The one who has forgiven all your sins, your transgressions, your iniquities. The one who has washed you with the blood of his own son. The one who has purified you justified you freely by faith, uh, declared you righteous as if you've never sinned. Uh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Uh, do not forget the God who has filled your mouth with good things uh, so that your youth is renewed like that of an eagle. This morning, Father, I want to thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, we worship you. We've come to worship you, the Lord Most High. We extol thee, O God, uh, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Uh, we thank you, mighty Father, because it is your mercy that has brought us this far. It is your grace that has brought us this far. We thank you, Lord. We have no power of our own. We have no strength of our own. Our strength comes from you in Mount Zion. The power we have comes from your Holy Spirit. Without your spirit, we would be nothing. We acknowledge, oh God, you are the great God, the one whom nobody created. You were there before the beginning began and you are eternal. You are the same yesterday, today and forevermore. We are grateful, Lord. The Bible says, better is a living dog than a dead lion. The fact that we are alive this morning, it tells us that our tomorrow will be better. Our tomorrow will be better than our yesterday. There is hope for those who remain in God. We are grateful this morning, Father. We thank you. We honor you. We magnify your name. You deserve the glory. You deserve the adoration. You deserve the praise. You deserve it this morning. We thank you, Lord. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with with praise. We honor and bless your name. Blessed be the rock of ages. Hallelujah. Bible says in Psalm 138 from verse 1, I'm reading the Amplified Bible. It says, I will give you thanks, Lord, with all my heart. I sing praises to you before the pagan gods, before all the idols. I am praising God. Every demonic power that is around me, they must hear my voice, uh, praising the one true God, praising Elohim, the maker of the heavens and the earth. They must hear my voice this morning. Uh, even those who think I belong to them, who say we have a family altar and a family shrine, they must hear my voice, uh, adoring the maker of the universe. They must hear my voice, praising Yahweh, for there is no other God besides him. The Bible says, I will bow down in worship towards your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word together with your name. His word is magnified. Every time we have read the scripture, the word that is living and powerful has not gone back to God void, but it has prospered way to the thing that he sent it. He has magnified his word. When we read his word, his word is doing something in our lives. He says, on the day I called, you answered me and you made me bold and confident with renewed strength in my life. This is the day, brethren, as we are thanking God and calling upon him. He has already answered us. All the prayer requests of November are answered and he has made us bold and confident. We have renewed strength in life. We are not afraid of the enemy's camp. We are not afraid. What can men do to us? The sovereign God is on our side. He says, if God be for us, who can be against us? We thank him this morning. We adore him. Father, we are just very grateful this morning. You have done so much for us. We can't even begin to tell all the testimonies. We give you thanks this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, once again, I want to thank God. I thank him for January 2022. I thank him for February. I thank him for March. I thank him for April. I thank him for May. I thank him for June. I thank him for July. I thank him for August. I thank him for September.
I thank him for October and I thank him for the 30 days of November, 2022. I thank him for the 11 months in the year 2022. In these 11 months, a lot could have happened to destroy us completely, but our God did not allow it. A lot could have happened so that right now we would be holding a minute silence for some of our brethren, but God said, no, mercy said, no. And we are here in his presence rejoicing. I want to thank him. Many battles that we don't even remember. Philippians 4 verse 4, HCSB translation. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your graciousness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. It says through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses every thought, every understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Father, we are rejoicing this morning and we thank you that, Lord, we refuse to be worried. Every anxiety we lay down at the feet of Jesus. Every worry on this prayer line, Father, on behalf of those who are worried, we lay their worries at the feet of Jesus. And with thanksgiving this morning, we have prayed, we have petitioned throughout November. We have prayed, we have petitioned. Today, we've come with thanksgiving. Our requests are being made known to you, O God. With this thanksgiving, we seal our prayers of November. With this thanksgiving, we seal our petitions. With this thanksgiving, we seal our supplications. With this thanksgiving, Lord, we thank you for putting the icing on the cake. Thank you, Lord, that there shall be a manifestation of everything that you are wanting to do for us in the name of Jesus. Father, we are grateful this morning. Thank you, Lord. In the place of thanksgiving, you, O oh God, have perfected that which concerns us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want to read Philippians 4 verse 7 in the Amplified Version for us. It says, and the peace of God. That peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus is yours. Receive it, child of God. This peace is like, it's like having soldiers and bodyguards standing guard over your heart and your mind. He says, that is the peace we have. Begin to thank God and say, I receive it. He says, the peace that reassures the heart, that tells your heart it is well. It is well, no reason for panic, no reason for confusion, no reason for anxiety, no reason for feeling bad, no reason to feel ashamed. It is well. The peace that transcends understanding, it is standing guard. The peace is standing like an army of soldiers. It's standing guard over your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. It is our peace and it is well with us. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. When we go to Psalm 119, Psalm 119 verse 89, the Bible says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your word is standing firm and unchangeable. Every time we have read the verses of God here and used them to pray, that word is standing before God forever. That word is not going to fail. That word cannot go back to God without doing what it was sent to do. So I'm wanting to thank God. Do you know what? From January up to now, every verse we have read on the prayer line is standing. It's not been canceled. It's not been defeated. 
every verse it is standing on this last day of November 2022. I want you to be grateful, to thank God, even the prayer points you've forgotten, because some of us, we forget even what we asked for. That word is still standing and the miracle is manifesting. Thank him this morning. Lord, I thank you. Forever your word is settled in heaven. Your word remains unchangeable. Your word is still standing. It cannot be revoked. It cannot be annulled. It cannot be reversed. All the scriptures we've ever read this year, all the scriptures we've used to pray, they are still standing. And the miracles have manifested right now. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the manifestation. Thank you for the manifestation. Thank you for the manifestation. You have done it again, sovereign Lord. You have done it again. You have done it again. Oh, my God has done it again. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, thank you, Father. We thank you. You've done great things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I want us to go to Luke chapter one. We are just thanking God this morning and re reminding ourselves. It's not God we are reminding. We're reminding ourselves that the miracles are already <laughs> in, in manifestation. Hallelujah. Luke chapter one, verse 45. I'm reading Amplified. And blessed, spiritually fortunate and favored by God is every man, every woman, every child on this prayer line. Blessed, spiritually fortunate and favored by God is she who believed and confidently trusted that there would be a fulfillment of the things that were spoken to her by the angel from the Lord. Blessed is that woman on this prayer line. Blessed is that man on this prayer line. Blessed is that child who has believed because there shall be a performance of those things which they were told by the Lord. As you believe this morning, there is a performance. As you believe, there is a performance. As you believe, there is a performance. Begin to thank God this morning. Lord, I confidently trust you this morning. And I thank you because I confidently trust you. And I believe in you. There shall be a performance. Of the things that you've promised me. The prophetic words are coming to pass. The prophecy is coming to pass. Lord, what your word said is coming to pass. Because I believe. There shall be a performance because I believe the word of life is coming to pass because I believe there is a performance. Every man, every woman, every child of God on this prayer platform, their faith is yielding results. Yes, there is a performance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We worship you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus name. Amen. Let's go to Psalm 119, sorry, 118, Psalm 118, Psalm 118. I'm going to read from verse 8 and 9. The Bible says, It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in the princes. Let's declare this morning that I take refuge in the Lord. Every situation in my life, I am trusting God for it. I take refuge in the Lord. The Lord is my fortress. He's my hiding place. I hide my spouse, my children, my parents, my grandparents, my brothers and sisters, their children, everyone connected to me, my brothers and sisters in Christ, spiritual children, biological children. I hide in the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And then the Bible says in verses six and seven, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can mere men do to me? The Lord is on my side. He is among those who help me. Therefore, I will look in triumph on those who hate me. Begin to declare it. Because the Lord is on my side. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. What can the devil do to me? What can his agents do to me with the Lord on my side? He says, I will look in triumph on those who hate me. Those who hate me are in trouble. 
Because God is about to prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. If you hate us, you're in trouble because all you will see is us going higher and higher by the spirit of the living God. We thank him this morning. We look in triumph on those who hate us because God is on our side. He has prepared that table before us in the presence of our enemies. Our cup is running over in Jesus name. Amen. Bible says in verse 10, let's look at verse 10 of Psalm 118. If you have your Bible, look with me. All nations encompassed me in the name of the Lord. I will surely cut them off. They compassed me. Yes, they surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will cut them off. They swarmed around me like bees. They flare up and are extinguished like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. Begin to declare it this morning in the name of Jesus, whoever has surrounded me for evil in the name of the Lord, I cut you off. All who have surrounded me for evil in the name of the Lord, I cut you off. Those who are swarming around me like bees, you will flare up and be extinguished like a fire of thorns in the name of the Lord. I have surely cut them off. I have destroyed my destroyers. I have cut them off. Every agenda of wickedness, it is cut off. Wherever it is coming from, we declare it this morning. It is cut off. The works of the enemy are cut off. All those who ganged up against God's children, in the name of the Lord, I cut you off. All my brothers and sisters here, all my brothers and sisters, I cut off their enemies. I cut off their pursuers. I cut off those who are molesting and abusing and and chasing them up and down. I cut you off in the name of the Lord. The end has come for the enemy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Verses 13 and 14. You, my enemy, pushed me violently so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. I want you to declare this morning, every enemy that has been pushing me violently, spiritually, physically, in every direction, this morning, I tell you, the Lord has helped me. The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. I will not fall. I will not fail. I will not fall. I will not fail. In the name of Jesus, the Lord has helped me. The Lord has helped me. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. He has become my salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus, the right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The Lord has strengthened me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Before we come back to verse 15, let's take verse 16 and 17. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I will not die, but live. And declare the works and the illustrious acts of the Lord. Begin to declare it right now in the name of Jesus. Over your lives, brethren, over everyone connected to us, our family members, our children, our spouses, everyone who is a covenant brother and sister, we decree and declare the right hand of the Lord is exalted in your life. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. We will not die. Nobody on this prayer line will die. We will live. And declare the works of the Lord. We will recount what God has done. We will recount the testimonies. We will recount the mercies. We will recount the deliverance. We will not die. We will not die. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you Father. We will come back to verse 19 and 21 tonight when we were speaking to the gates of December. But as we are rounding off this morning, let's go to verse 15. The Bible says, the sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I want you to declare in my house. In my neighborhood, in the ministry that I represent, there is a sound of joyful shouting and salvation. There is a sound of joy. No cries are coming out of our camp. No cries of confusion or cries of bereavement and grief are coming out of our camp. Instead, the sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord has done it again. He has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. We rejoice. We rejoice. We rejoice. 
Oh, Rabba Santa, we rejoice. We rejoice. The sound of joy is coming out of our camp. We worship you, Lord. We honor you. Thank you, Father. Excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. Excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. Who is greater than Jehovah, Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah, Lord divine. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want us to close with Philippians 4 verse 8. Philippians 4 verse 8. The Bible says we're going to carry this scripture throughout because we're not going to let that evil one rob us of our joy. Philippians 4 verse 8. Finally, my brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable and worthy of respect, whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, Whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. This is amplified. We refuse to think thoughts of failure. We are only going to think whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things bring peace. Whatever is admirable, declare over yourself and say, I refuse for my mind to dwell on negative things. In the name of Jesus, as I leave this prayer altar, I speak to my mind. You are not permitted to think negativity. You are not permitted to think about failure. You are not permitted to think that God cannot do it. God is able. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are right, whatsoever things are honorable, whatsoever things are lovely, whatever things bring peace, if there is any excellence and any virtue, anything worthy of praise, these are the things I'm centering my mind on. I center my mind on the good things of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.